But traders trade better together. And let's look at the big rally in industrials. They are hitting a record high today, like so many other groups. Craig Johnson of Piper Jaffray, Zach Carabell with InvestNet. Zach, I mean, pretty much fill in the blank is hitting a record high today or this month. But what's your take on industrials? Big, slow growth. I mean, is this overdone at all? It's just another example, Brian, of markets trying to price in endpoints, anticipating X, you know, trillion dollars of infrastructure spending. Let's just throw that out there. And that is why you have names like Maztec up 35% in a month. You have Caterpillar up 15%, Deer up 15%, and some of these industrial metals. And so they're all trying to figure out, okay, if all this spending materializes, where does that go? How does it go? And I, it's a kind of an indiscriminate let's just buy all these names. And it may be that these names, in fact, do quite well from the next 18 to 24 months of potential spending in whatever form. I, I don't know that there's another, you know, 35 percent there. It doesn't mean that they're then going to pull back, but they, they definitely are anticipating a lot. Yeah. Craig Johnson, listen, we, we like all of us up here probably have 401ks or 529s, whatever it is for our kids. We like stocks going up, but when I see these bigs like Caterpillar, not knocking any company, up 15, 20, 25, 30 percent, I'm thinking the market can get ahead of itself. What is your technical take on where we are? Well, Brian, let's take a look at the XLI chart I brought in. It's a five-year chart. When I go back and I look at this chart, I can see two double bottoms that got put in on this chart uh, over the last uh, year or two. I'd also point out that you've had a little bit of a short-term pullback. That short-term pullback really was confirmation of the price channel that uh, was made over the last couple years. We pulled back, retested it, and moved higher. Now, Brian, everybody talks about this kind of 9% move in November being extreme. Well, it's not even in the top 10 moves uh, advances on a monthly basis when you go back and you look uh, at this ETF throughout history. So from our perspective on a chart basis, I think you got another 5-6% upside from here uh, with this uh, particular ETF. Okay. Look, I, well, yeah. Go ahead. Last I word mean, quickly, I, Zach. I, yeah, I would just say, look, this is driven by an expectation of a macro event. So whatever the technicals are, just be careful of this was a momentum trade based on an anticipation of something that hasn't yet happened. I like a lot of these names, but be careful. All right, Zach and Craig, both good points. Craig, a little more optimistic on the chart side. Zach says, be careful. Thank you both. For more Trading Nation, you can head to our website, tradingnation.cnbc.com. I'm often asked, what percentage of a portfolio should be traded? Well, regardless of how small or larger trades are, the key is to adhere to a trading plan in building and implementing your portfolio. This can help a trader make difficult but not hasty decisions. Plan your trade, then trade your plan. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.